I bought not one, but two bootleg NES multi-carts on Amazon. Not from Wish, not from Etsy, not from a site like AliExpress, but actually Amazon. Yeah, they sell stuff like this too. No, I know it's not Amazon who sells stuff like this. It's like the Amazon sellers who sell stuff like this on Amazon. That's how Amazon works. Now, personally, I wouldn't consider this part of like my collection or anything like that, but in lieu of like an EverDrive or something like that, if you just want to play some random games on physical hardware, it's not a bad way to go. You might find some unique games on here too, like hacks and stuff like that too. It's insane. We've got two of them here. This is the 501, while this one being the 239. Uh, sometimes this might be more like, like early Famicom games and stuff like that, early NES games, black box type titles. And then this one might be like Good stuff. Well, well, I guess we'll find out. Starting with the 501. I wanted to see the 501 first. And we're not going to go through every single game. Uh, but right off the bat, got Ninja Turtles 1, 2, 3, and 4. I'm guessing 4 is Tournament Fighters. It hit start. It could be a hack of a game, too. They do that a lot, too, where they'll do like a graphic hack. Oh, no. Oh, there you go. See? TTP Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters. Very cool. All right. Let's reset it. <laughs> then we have things like Contra 1, 2, and then 3, 6, 7. <laughs> uh, so Contra 3 is probably Contra Force. Contra Force. Okay. That's the that's the non-Contra game. In Japan, it was not even a Contra game. They called it Contra when it came out in America. Contra 6 is... Um, this might be that uh, Contra Spirits. Like... <laughs> Oh no. Play as Guile and Ryu. What? Wait a minute. Is this a hack of Contra? This is, it's Contra Force. But. Yeah, it's Contra Force, but it's the graphics of. Um. Contra. Alright, I'm good. <laughs> and then there's Contra 7. And I'm wondering if this is the one. No, this is something different. Super Contra 7. I have seen this one before. It's definitely a, um... Well, you'll see. Yeah. It's like... It's honestly not super terrible. It's just not... Official. Why do bootleg games always have music like this? Okay. Uh, and then there's Contra 8. And is this one the Super Nintendo one? This is the same one, only now it's translated. Or at least the title screen's translated. That's what makes it. That's what makes it an official, an official unofficial sequel to an unofficial game here. <laughs> an official sequel to an unofficial game. I like that. Oh, I got some great games here. Kage. That's probably Legend of Kage. Then we have Tiny Toons One, Two, and Three. So it's probably Tiny Toon Adventures, Tiny Toon Adventures 2, and then Tiny Toon 3 is the Cartoon Workshop? There's a lot of great games on here. This is non-official. It's probably a hack of... Oh. Okay, so it's Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle. But you probably play as... No. Uh, no, it's literally Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle with a slightly altered title screen. Although I do like Bugs Bunny's Crazy Castle. That's not bad. Ninja Gaiden with an M? Okay. Robocop 1, 2, 3, and 4. <laughs> they always had a fourth one for random reasons. What's Robocop 4? That looks kind of cool, I'll be honest with you. Is it Robocop versus uh, Predator or something? Robocop versus Terminator? A what production? Okay, so they um, removed the... Uh, Whatever. Pass. <laughs> Alright, too many games to go through here. Adventure Island 4 is legit. It did come out in Japan, just not in the uh, United States. And then Chippendale 3, I gotta show you this, if you haven't seen this before. There's Chippendale's Rescue Rangers 1 and 2. You've probably heard of those, right? Great games. This one is Heavy Barrel, but they, um, they altered the graphics, so it's Heavy Barrel, but you play as a chipmunk. Has nothing to do with anything. But it's just the, like, out of all things you could do or all things you could edit, 
you gotta do, gotta do that one, right? All righty, righty, righty. Let's just kind of keep going here. So there's actually some decent games on here, and then we start getting into the hot blood. It's interesting. Street Fighter 2010. See the Kickmaster Mighty Final Fight. You know, I trust they work just fine. Three Eyes Boy. That's an import. Kyoku Tiger. Yeah, Power Rangers. Yeah, that, there's a um. I can show you. It's like whatever the Japanese. Well, I mean that might tell you something. Yeah, like, like whatever inspired the Power Rangers from Japan, like the original source. Oh, let me just write right in the spikes there. Ah, no! Oh. I kind of like that idle stance, to be honest with you. Anyway. It's interesting enough. It's actually not bad. It's just... Okay, let's just go see what else is on here. Got Airwolf Jungle Book. No, Airwolf... Our Airwolf and Japan's Airwolf are two different games. Ours was more of like a uh, like cockpit simulator, like Airwolf game. And then Jap in Japan, Airwolf is a side-scrolling shooter. And this is the Japanese version, obviously. Ha 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 That's what that says. I may have added one extra hot in there, though. And then this is your, uh... Has the same music. And then your B button, which is... Do you see that starting to glitch out a little bit? I mean, you can't not see it. You, you can hit your B button to speed up. Of course, you use your fuel when you do that, so now I can't do that anymore. But I thought that was an interesting take. You'd be like, you go faster, you know? So with 500 games, there's got to be a point where the games start looping. And that hasn't happened yet. Because sometimes on those multi-carts, it's like, you know, 600 games in one, and it's really like 20. And then it's like the same 20 over and over again, maybe with different colors or like Unlimited Lives or start on level three. Uh, this game here is the Japanese version of Altered Beast. They did make Altered Beast in Japan. And it is, yeah. The Genesis version, it isn't. However, this did exist. One more should do it. And they, uh, they even added a couple of extra levels in the Japanese version, too. Like, there's a level that you turn into, like, a, a shark. There we go. Transformation. mega transformation here. <laughs> Same sound. <laughs> oh, and then we got the huge screen here. Okay. Hey, I'm facing the wrong way. Here we go. You know, scale-wise, it's bigger than the usable. Oh, no. Anyway. It's interesting that they would do that. So, so far, they're all unique games, so maybe it is 500 unique games in one. Now we're starting to get into the Famicom game. So they put the good games up front. 
and then they load and pad the rest of them with your, um, you know, with like your your simple mapper style games here. Nibbles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's how they do it. Okay. All right. You might even start getting into games that it's like like Chinese chess. <laughs> Aimless. Burbles. Awful rushing. What? Cub Adventure. Well, we gotta check out Cub Adventure, I think. So that's me up there, and I gotta get all the hearts, I'm guessing. Oh, you gotta go all the way back through the things. Frantic Mouse. Gate. Of course. So the rest of the games on this list, out of the 500, the first few, not bad, right? Pretty good. And then it just pads the rest of it with just these random... You know, and there's, there's, there's some decent games, like, you know, Tiger Heli, and there's, you know, some other stuff. Back to the Future, I'm sure is, well, I didn't say they were good, I just said they were <laughs> loaded up here. Yeah. Transforms. Is this Transformers? Is this the Headmasters? Yep. Yeah. Not Headmasters, that's the uh, Famicom Disk System. This is where we play as Ultra Magnus. It's a one-hit kill on this game, too, so it's, like, super hard. Oh, see? Told you. You can't transform, though. Figure out how. Down and jump? Down and attack? There it goes. Oh. <laughs> well. Let's not do that. Can I go back? Okay, I, I can back up. And that's when you have some other ones, too. Uh, yeah. All right. I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay, so that's the 501. Let's check out this other, this 239 in one. Let's see if there's anything different on there. Because one thing I didn't notice on the other one is there's no Mega Man games, and then none of the games uh, have battery saves. So this one may be different. This is from Pixel Games, apparently. 239 in one, and we start off on 16, because that's a good place to start. Um, let's go back. Here's a you know, balloon fight, bubble bubble. Because so Castlevania is one and two, not three though. Three is on an interesting map, so it probably wouldn't have worked. But we do have Final Fantasy, and that is a battery save game. There's Mega Man Two, Mario Bros. Classic, Mike's Punch Out. Not Mike. Ty they couldn't get the licensing for Mike Tyson. They had to do Mike's Punch Out on that one. Um, again, Star Tropics. That's a battery save game. And I like it. It gives you a little thing. Because index, you can also go back. And then, oh, I see. And then, like, you just cycle through uh, the letters, not through the, uh, not through the, um, you know, pages. Well, I guess the pages are kind of like letters, but it just goes straight to, you know, here's all the I games, here's all the J games. Show me the Mega Man games. M. M. Okay, so um, hit A for index. Nope. B to back. Nope. Start. A. Oh, there it goes. Oh, I was hitting the wrong button. Sorry. Okay, so now that I'm here, now I can cycle through. That's where you can find Mario's time machine. Mario's in missing. And then here we go. Mega Man. Mega, Mega Man 2 was earlier in the list. They put, again, I think they put, like, the most classic games first. And then there's, oh, and also we have Mega Man 1, 3, 4, 5, and 6. <laughs> and Mortal Kombat 2, of course we do. Oh, wrong one, wrong one. Hold on. <laughs> oh, and when you reset it, it goes right to here. That's not bad. I did that because I wanted to do Mega uh, Mortal Kombat 2 and not Mega Man. It's kind of a cool title screen, to be honest with you. Yeah, imagine if they would have had Mortal Kombat for the NES might look like this. Well, 
I'm reserving all judgment until I can actually do a move here. I was wondering if it was like... I think it's just hard attack and weak attack, and whether it's a punch or a kick depends on where they are. God. Nothing. Alright. But the good news is if you reset it, you go straight back to that menu. It should. Maybe. Ah, it does. Very cool. Uh, Alright. Well, let's check out. Let's see what else there is on here. There's a Robocop versus Terminator. That was a prototype, or that was a um, an unreleased game there. Interesting to see that on the list. Here's a game called Stead. 192 Stead. <laughs> I don't know anything to stand out at you. There's a lot of a lot of games that were on the other cart also. But this one only has 139 compared to the other one that was you know 500. Some different games. It looks like this one has games that you can do battery saves, which is not bad. Uh, interesting that they see that they don't have Earthbound Beginnings, or maybe they do. Let me go to let's see. How do I go back to that index? Here it is. Let me go to uh, M for Mother and see if they have Earthbound on here. They do not. Okay. Unless it's actually under Earthbound and not Mother. Oh, but it's right here. Earthbound. I'm looking right at it the whole time. So here's the NES version. This is Sometimes they call it Earthbound Beginnings. It's on the Switch online service now. But this is where it all started. Hmm. Very cool. Well, I mean, sure beats paying what five thousand dollars for whatever this game's going for nowadays. <laughs> and again, it's funny that they just have these on Amazon for sale. Anybody can buy them. I like carts like this. Um, I don't consider them part of my collection or anything like that. However, in lieu of giving an EverDrive or not wanting to pay the resellers the high price. You know, you can just you can just rock one of these, and it's not bad. I got the link in the description below. This one is glitched. You can see the screen on top there. That's not part of it. Um, so, I mean, they're definitely not going to be perfect every time. But, you know, if you can get past some of these things. I mean, like, there's no controller lag or anything like that. So, you know, whatever, whatever you're thinking, 